Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a really quick look at how to tighten up your hi-hats, alright? So I've loaded up a loop. I have... Well first it's important to note the difference between a closed hat and an open hat, alright? A closed hat is when your two metal pieces are on top of each other, so it makes a really short, tight noise. An open hat, well, let's take a look. A closed hat. Now an open hi-hat, you're going to actually have the symbols are the metal. Uh-oh. <laughs> the symbols are the metal apart from each other, so you're going to have more of a sustained noise. Check it out. All right, now, if you're, I have a sequence loaded up. It's important to note that for this to be effective, we're going to need the eighth and ninth channels, all right? Eight and nine. Now let's take a look here. I have just a hi-hat sequence. Let's take a look. The closed hat is on each eighth note, all right? And my open hi-hat is on the off beat on the 10 and the 12. So let's take a listen. Now you hear how those hi-hats kind of bleed into the other hi-hats? Or the open hi-hats, for example, are sustained for a long time. Now with the drum kit, in reality, this is impossible because these are supposedly the same drums. So how can we resolve this? Well, the redrum has a really cool feature in the bottom left called Channel Exclusive 8 and 9. Now listen to the difference. What that's going to do is that's going to cut off the drums once the other one plays. So you really don't have to worry about it blasting or sustaining too long. Now it's going to take some time to kind of match the hats to get them the way you want. Maybe one's too loud or one's pitched too low, but you really want these hi-hats to kind of try to sound like they're from the same mics or the same drum kit. This example isn't the best, but it's going to work for this demonstration. Now I want to show you how this sounds like in the context of a more complete one bar loop. All right, let's check it out. Now let's check it out, what it sounds like with channel 8 and 9 exclusive off. Sounds sloppy, it doesn't sound connected, it doesn't sound put together. Click. And we have an instant fix. Alright, now, look guys, you're not limited to just hi-hats, you can be really creative with that. If you have maybe some samples that are sustained and they're really long hits, you can load one up and load this and turn it all the way down to zero. And here, let's load a, a long sample. Um, all right. Now listen, this is at zero. It's not going to play. If we listen to this run, for example, they all smash into each other. But you hear it skip right there. I can paint these in all over to tighten that sample up. But that doesn't have to be just a crash. I mean, you can go completely ballistic and load up some, I don't know. Listen, this is a whole two bar loop, all right? But it's only gonna play that beginning. Now look, I'm not saying that's cool, I'm not saying that's sweet, I'm saying the options that you have to be creative with that are kind of limitless. You have maybe a chime that sounds really cool, you can paint it at the one and a three and then a stutter effect at the end to kind of give it more of a hip hop NPC vibe. Alright? Play with it, check it out, go crazy, do something unique. In reason you're only really limited by your creativity, I suggest you kind of spend some time making some music and spend some time experimenting and see where they overlap. Alright, until the next time, love, peace, and chicken crease. Bye-bye.